Noon, breaking news here at noon, another homicide and more questions about safety in Rochester. A large pre police presence in the city on Mead Street. Eric Cost is there live with what we know so far here at noon. Eric good afternoon. Mark, yeah, well, what we have here is a young man in his 20s was shot and pronounced dead on scene off of Meag Mead Street. Excuse me. This is right off of North Clinton Avenue downtown. Uh, we just got an update from uh, Captain Frank Umbrino with Rochester Police Department. He says this happened just before 10 a.m. They got the call. Uh, the person that was shot and killed was in his car when this happened. When he was shot at, uh, no suspects are in custody, and officers are asking anyone with info to give them a call. They don't know the motive. There's no info to lead them to believe it could be related to recent carjackings. I know that's a big topic of concern lately and I want to emphasize how many people are on the street of North Clinton's very busy area. You can imagine how shocked they must be. We did uh, run into the president of North Clinton Business Association who talked to us just about how uh, upsetting it is for him. Uh, but before you hear from him, we're going to show you some of what uh, Captain Frank Umbrino just told us. So take a listen. Is I, I feel their pain. I feel sorry for them. It's time they, they need to speak up. They need to make their voices heard. There's a lot of things going on that I'm not going to get into, but I feel their pain. I understand their pain, and their voices need to be heard. Something has to get done. Our, our merchants are not feeling safe. Our neighbors are not feeling safe. And here we are the city and city council about cutting the police department. You're going to cut the police department when something like this happens, it takes almost half of that police department. So when something else happens, then what happens to us? Now, Umbrino says to solve this problem of crime ramping up before uh, we're hitting warmer months. It's not even summer yet. He says it's going to be a community effort. Uh, police will not be the only answer. They're just a small part of the whole uh, community effort. He said judges, government leaders, residents, business owners, um, we're going to work to solve this as best we can, he says. Back to you, Mark. And another tragedy, meanwhile, on the city streets this morning. Eriketa, thank you.